Hello everyone, it's Becky here and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today I decided to give you a little bit break from all the Halloween and Victober stuff because I would like to talk about some other books. And although don't you worry, Halloween and Victober videos are coming as well, today I thought I would talk about something different and maybe give you some other books which you could be interested in and you can read meanwhile or after all this season is away. Because I decided to speak about books which are very different from one another, they are from different genres, different authors from different time periods and they are talking about completely different things but again there is something they have in common and what they have in common this time is that I have never mentioned them before not here on the YouTube or even on my Instagram but all those books are really interesting and although I read them some time ago I still remember them to this day and I hope that you will enjoy them as well let me know if you read any of this book please and without the further ado I will just start because the first book I would like to mention is this one called Zvláštny smutok citronového koláča by Amy Bender I don't know if you heard about this book but it's a very interesting one because the main character here is a nine-year-old girl called Rose and she has this special power or talent or gift you can say and that is that she can feel the emotions from people from the food they serve her so um, for example at the beginning of this story she tastes her mother's uh, chocolate and lemon cake and suddenly she realizes that her mom who is always this cheerful and sunny and smiley person is actually actually quite sad about something and that there is something going on and throughout this story she realizes that eating food is mostly a burden for her rather than a joy and she also realizes that there are some other things going on in her family or with her brother or with her father so a uh, very interesting premise very interesting idea and I must say that although this sounded really really great to me because I love food if there is one thing you maybe still don't know about me is that I do love food and if I can read about it or watch it in some movie or something um, I just like to give it a go but this particular book unfortunately I did not enjoy it as much as I thought I will because uh, I think it was mostly because of the writing style since the author for some reason decided to not use any sort of quotation marks or the punctuation in general so it was very difficult for me to recognize, well not very difficult, but I constantly had to pay attention uh, on when the dialogue begins and when the description of the story ends. So it was something really distracting and it really took me out of the story and um, it kind of killed the whole experience of reading for me so uh, this is something to be aware of and when it comes to story itself I really did like how the descriptions of the well not the description but how the relation between the food and story and feelings were portrayed it was something very very interesting and I never came across anything like this before but then towards the end of the story for some reason I felt like the uh, the main point shifted or like suddenly the main character wasn't the girl anymore Rose but rather her brother which is not something completely bad but I just uh, found it as something which I was not quite sure why it happened so um, highly recommend you to give this a go and if you read it or if you will read it please let me know what you think about it because um, it's quite a strange experience but very nice as well The book number two is this one, which takes us to Paris in 1959 and it's called Klub nenapraviteľných optimistov. This is quite a thicker book, but still really worth it to read. The main character here is Michael and he originally comes from Algeria with his family, but they moved to Paris. And the war in Algeria is still sort of mentioned in the background in this book, but it's not the main point, uh, because the main focus in this book is on Michael and him growing up. And what is really interesting is that Michael, instead of doing stuff that normal teenage old uh, boy would do he rather goes and spend time in this special bar or pub you could call it when there is this special room in the back and in that room there are people gathered from eastern europe mostly men who had to run away because of the regime and some of their stories are very interesting and that's what michael loves to do he loves to go there and talk with them and uh, get to know them a little bit better and what i really like about this is that this touches a little bit on the 
philosophical aspects of the life so through those conversations the man has with one another um, you can slowly get to know them a little bit better as well and you discover why and how they have to run away from their country and some of those stories are very touching and sort of like heavy stuff to read about because some of them had to run away and leave the whole families behind hoping that one day um, they could bring them with them so I really enjoy those conversations because besides this heavy things they also discuss and argue about for example who is the better ballet dancer whether it was Barishniko or Nureyev and I just really enjoyed conversation like this and other than this it also uh, is a very good take on following one teenage boy to grow up uh, so we can follow Michael and how are his relationship with his family with his friends with these men also he get to be interested in the photography at some point which is something I really love to do as well so that was also interesting aspect for me and uh, yeah, just very very interesting read. I don't think that it's for some specific uh, age category or something like that. It's good to be a little bit older so you can understand more about, uh, for example, stuff that were going on in the Eastern Europe, uh, but it's not something that, um, you know, you are too young for to read this book. I read this maybe like five years ago or four years ago, so highly recommend you to give it a go as well. Right, and book number three again takes us to a completely different place and different time because the book is called Egyptian Sinwe and this book takes us to ancient Egypt in um, 1370 I believe BC and it's a very interesting book which I read many years ago and I must say that thinking about it now I'm sure I was way too young to read this book uh, because I believe that if I read it now there would be different things I would pick up from the book and maybe I would feel a little bit differently about it but although I read it such a long time ago I still do remember this book and whenever I walk around my shelf I look at the book and I'm like I should really read you again at some point point. and basically in this story we follow a Sinue and his whole life from his early childhood through the days when he was studying to become a doctor and how he was treating at first poor people but then slowly he made his way up 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 to uh, Pharaoh himself but after Pharaoh died he uh, was expelled and that's when he started to write his memoirs which is this book all about and it's a really interesting book because if I remember correctly there were a lot of um, descriptions of medicine practices coming from ancient Egypt and also it's such a good insight into completely different culture and country and traditions and the place where for example women's beauty was judged according to the shape of her bald head so something very interesting and it also is a little bit philosophical in a way that it again touches on what is good and what is bad and the decision you make throughout your life and whether those decisions were right when you look back at those so uh, quite an interesting read um, if you read the book please let me know and what you think of it because uh, as I said I think uh, you should not be very young to read this book but um, I don't feel like I missed too much but still it's something that reading it now I would probably feel a little bit differently about the book as I said. Right, and the last book is this one, little blue one, very thin one, so you can read it very quickly. And again, it's something very different from the previous three books I just mentioned. This is a book called Ohromne Maličkosti, which was written by Gilbert Keith Chesterton. And Gilbert Keith Chesterton is, or was, sorry, he was a writer, a theologist, and also a philosopher who is also known for a series called Father Brown, which you might know from the TV show that was also created. And... Uh, uh, this book contains 39 short essays and um, what I really like about this is that basically um, Gilbert Chesterton is able to describe very ordinary objects but very beautifully and also create some story about them. So it really reminded me for example Hans Christian Andersen when in some of his fairy tales he was describing the most ordinary objects you could find at home but he created such a wonderful fairy tales around them and here for example is a story which I remembered about the chalk which you used to write on the board uh, on the board with and 
it was very very lovely story so this is a book which I would really recommend you to read for example in this autumn season when you can be wrap up in a blanket with tea on the sofa and just have a lovely and good time and again it touches a little bit on the philosophical aspects of like good and evil and he also describes his little adventures he experienced while he was traveling from London to other countries so yeah something different from these three books a uh, very light read I would say you can read it uh, with your tea in one sitting. So highly recommend you to give this the go as well. Right, so I think those are all the books I wanted to mention. I hope you find at least some of them interesting. And if you read any of these, please let me know in the comments. I would really love to know what you think of them or if there is any book which particularly sounded good to you and you are maybe considering to pick it up and read. And I will hopefully see you with another video very soon. Take care, bye.